Ever heard of the Hyperloop? No? Then you better watch this video right to the very end. Hyperloop is a proposed mode of transportation that envisions a system of high-speed trains or pods traveling through a vacuum-sealed tubes at speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour. The concept was first proposed by Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk in 2013 as an alternative to traditional trains and airplanes for long-distance travel. Let's tell you a little bit about Elon Musk first. As you already know, Elon Musk is a well-known entrepreneur and innovator who has been involved in a variety of companies and projects, many of which are focused on advancing technology and pushing the boundaries of what is possible. He was born in South Africa in 1971 and later moved to the United States where he attended the University of Pennsylvania and obtained degrees in both physics and economics. He then went on to co-found several technology startups, including PayPal, which revolutionized the way people conduct financial transactions online. In addition to PayPal, Musk is perhaps best known for his involvement in several other companies, including Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. So what's the deal with the Hyperloop and how would it even work? Well, for starters, the Hyperloop would work by using a combination of magnetic levitation and air pressure to move the pods or trains through a low-pressure tube. This would greatly reduce air resistance and allow for faster and more energy-efficient travels. Several companies and startups are currently working on developing Hyperloop technology with various designs and approaches. While the concept is still in the testing phase, proponents believe that the Hyperloop could revolutionize transportation by providing a faster, cheaper, and more sustainable alternative to traditional modes of travel. Ten years after the tech tycoon first proposed the notion of creating the Hyperloop, a fifth mode of transportation, the Endeavor appears to be losing steam. An above-ground test tube for Hyperloop pods that was situated in front of the SpaceX's Hawthorne, California plant is said to have been taken down in November. Currently, there is no Hyperloop service in the United States. The dream of the Hyperloop is quite intriguing to say the least. Traveling on one may reduce travel time between distant cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco which currently takes five and a half hours by car to just one hour and 15 minutes. How amazing is that? But sadly, up until now, this goal has remained out of grasp. Jack Phillips, the Director of Infrastructure and Mechanical Engineering Advisor at Texas Guadalupe, a company developing Hyperloop technology, bemoaned that it would definitely feel like the progress is not being made. Unfortunately, the sad truth is that the development of the Hyperloop presents more of a political and societal perception problem than an engineering one. Speaking at SXSW 2023 in Austin, Texas, Phillips listed a number of obstacles including price, a lack of safety rules, and the availability of more conventional forms of transportation. Technology also plays a role. Phillips pointed out that Musk's 2013 Hyperloop white paper suggested that utilizing an air-bearing pneumatic levitation system in which air enters tiny holes to lift and propel the passenger capsule without touching the tunnel walls. His Guadalupe team is also working on the same technology that received SpaceX's 2017 Innovation Award. The Hyperloop industry has, he claimed, really seen a massive shift all to the magnetic levitation in place of air bearing. This is due to the additional advantages that maglevs provide, such as the significantly larger air gaps between the capsule and the tube, increased levitation energy efficiency, and reduced maintenance costs. Minor air gaps in an air bearing system experience significant wear at high speeds, and even minor debris could cause ruptures that would necessitate additional repairs or replacements. The technology to make the Hyperloop a reality is available, however. So why does it feel like we're still so far away, stated Phillips? One is that 
Since the Hyperloop is a novel technology, there are currently no laws governing it. Some claim that the Hyperloop would be unaffordably expensive because the system would cost more and use more energy than Musk predicted. In addition, California has previously spent years and millions of dollars on an unsuccessful attempt to construct a standard high-speed train line for the same route. The development of the Hyperloop technology is still ongoing, and progress has been made in recent years but there is no fully operational Hyperloop system yet. Several companies have been working on developing the Hyperloop technology, including Elon Musk's boring company, Virgin Hyperloop, and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies. These companies have conducted tests and made advancements in the technology, such as improving the vacuum system, developing new materials, and creating innovative designs. In 2020, Virgin Hyperloop conducted its very first passenger test with two people riding in a Hyperloop pod for the very first time. The test took place on a 500-meter track in Nevada, USA, and the pod reached speeds of up to 107 miles per hour. The Hyperloop has the potential to provide several benefits as a mode of transportation. Here are some ways that it can be beneficial. Number one is speed. The Hyperloop is designed to travel at speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour, which is much faster than most traditional modes of transportation. This would greatly reduce travel times and make it possible to travel long distances in a shorter amount of time. Number two is efficiency. The Hyperloop is designed to be a highly energy efficient which could help reduce carbon emissions and make it more sustainable as a mode of transportation. It could also be less expensive to operate than traditional modes of transportation, which could lead to cost savings for the passengers. Number three is safety. The Hyperloop is designed to be very safe with a low risk of accidents or crashes. The vacuum sealed tubes would eliminate the risk of collisions with other vehicles or obstacles and the pods or trains would be equipped with advanced safety features. Number four is accessibility. The Hyperloop could make travel more accessible to people in remote areas as it could be built in places where other modes of transportation aren't exactly feasible. It could also be more accessible to people with disabilities as it could be designed with features to accommodate their needs. Last but not least is economic development. The construction of the Hyperloop could create jobs and stimulate economic development in the areas where it is built. It could also increase tourism and trade between different regions or countries. Overall, while progress has been made, there are still significant technical, regulatory, and financial challenges to overcome before the Hyperloop can become a fully operational mode of transportation. However, many experts and investors remain optimistic about the potential of this technology to revolutionize the way we travel in the near future. So what do you think about the Hyperloop? Let us know in the comment section below. For more informative videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to stay with us. See you again soon.